couple of months of doing this very thing, it just became inevitable that we had better at least get in the same room if it was real. <laughs> and here we've been in the same room for 18 months. You two, though, have got a long history because you knew each other years ago, didn't you? In 1978, my first show, Man from Atlantis, was canceled. Yeah. And I was given a script of this new show called The Young Pioneers to play, I think a husband, I'm not sure, mm. a husband with this actress named Linda Pearl. But I also got another script to play a five-part episode as a guy named Bobby. And I, I looked at one episode versus five episodes and we missed our opportunity for 40 years, but then we made up for it. Someday when I'm awfully low. We had bumped into each other at an event in LA. I was doing a play in New York and Patrick was gonna be on the East Coast doing some work. And he said, well, maybe I can come through. And then the pandemic hit. And then we had nothing to do. So we, we started to Zoom. Just the way you We texted for a few weeks and then we FaceTimed and then we discovered Zoom. And we ended up Zooming every single night for over two months for several hours uh, every night. And it just kept building. And then at one point we signed off in a rather uh, auspicious way. <laughs> well, you did. It was like, okay, see you tomorrow. Okay, okay. And Patrick says, okay, love you. I was like, what? When was that? End meeting, no way. <laughs> and when I hung up after, I said, what did I just say? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, I used the L word. Oh my gosh, hush your mouth. You'd come, Patrick, from a long marriage uh, to your wife who very sadly passed away. If you count the time we lived together, almost 48 years uh, together, I thought that's a pretty good run by anybody's standards, especially in our industry and everything. And I didn't know uh, even or want to try and figure out any plan of action. So the universe just stepped in and said, here's your plan, <laughs> just go for it. Linda, true confessions. Were you a fan of Patrick's in his wonderful, though short-lived series, Man from Atlantis? You know, I have to plead ignorance. I <laughs> Though allowed to return to his ocean existence, Mark decides to help us further our exploration of the oceans. I had not known about it. I do now, and I've seen him in the Speedo. <laughs> pretty, pretty nice. I'm sorry I missed out back in the day. This is a great sadness to me. Then help me. Together we can stop the flow. Yes, it is necessary for us both. You know what, it was a great series, Patrick. It was massive in Australia back in, I think, about 1977. And you had a swimming style that was unlike anybody else's swimming style. Yeah, it was a young man series. At that point, fun, exciting, and not difficult. But when I think back, even doing it 20 years older than I was then, it would have been, you know, very difficult and I probably wouldn't have lasted. So um, it ended at exactly the right time and I got the next job right at the right time. I only had seven days off between oh Atlantis and Dallas. How did that come about? One of our dear friends is the actor Gregory Harrison. And Gregory was doing a show next door to where I was filming The Man from Atlantis. And his executive producer was a man named Leonard Katzman. Leonard got the job of producing Dallas and um, he was looking for a Bobby and he had seen me around the set. He didn't talk to my agent or he didn't come and talk to me or, or anything like that. He didn't even talk to the producers of Man From Atlantis. He went over and talked to the crew. He just sat around and asked questions about me. Was I a team player? Was I a pain in the butt? What, you know, am I late? Am I early? Am I ever? So I didn't have to audition for Dallas. He just called up and offered the, the role to my agents, and I went to work. You gave me the power to run that company, and damn it, I intend to run it. We did 16 years of that show in total. I got to do everything that you could wring out of that character. I think the reboot could have gone a couple more years, but that would have changed the trajectory of everything else I did, and right now, I can't complain about a thing. I know, it. that's right. Need to talk to a detective about two missing children. Your mother's hiding something. The mother's name would be Laurie Vallow. 
not only is Linda and Patrick's rapturous romance powering along beautifully, but they've taken it to the next level by working together, recently on a movie called Doomsday Mom. What was it like now having developed a relationship and coming together on the screen? We thought, oh no, this could go horribly wrong, but it, it didn't. We found we had a similar work ethic, although to walk onto the set holding hands was odd, and at the <laughs> end of one particular scene, I felt a pat on my derriere, and Patrick said, nice work, honey. It was like, what? Well, that's never happened. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready for a scoop? I am here. I mean, my scoops are usually ice cream, but I'm ready for yours. Oh, you're going to get a double dip this time, Ben. <laughs> um, we just, over the weekend, committed to uh, make a tour of the UK for five months in the play 12 of Angry Men. Brilliant play. It'll be restructured to be 10 angry men and two really pissed off women. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't know what they're going to call it, but we're going to work yeah. together and tour the UK for five months. Five months on the road, wow. With their relationship flourishing and the lovebirds smiling brightly, there's a question I just had to ask. Could a marriage be on the cards? So a cheeky question, could it be possible at some point in the future? Obviously, we're, we're walk sitting examples right now that anything is possible. So, yeah, who knows? We don't know. We didn't know this was going to happen. I'm giddy with gratitude every single day I can wake up and, and look over and say, oh, my God, look who's in my life. Well, we can't wait to see you down here. Let's make it happen. Thank okay. you so much. Thanks for having us, yeah, Greg. Really, really lovely, lovely to chat with you. Fabulous was that. Don't you love a really beautiful love yeah, story? Yeah. And that was just one of the best. They were divine to chat to, as I'm sure you can tell. Um, if you're a big Linda Pearl fan, she has a website you might be thrilled to know. It's lindapearl.com. And that is where you can buy her albums. You heard her beautiful voice there, also an array of photos, all of which she tells me she will very happily sign just for you. Pop them in a padded post pack and off they go. <laughs> That's gorgeous. Well Isn't done, Craig? Craigie. A little, oh, bit, of, you, little eh? bit of sunshine brought to the day. Don't you think so? You know, considering that...